In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to send an email with Python. Now, this is not a new concept. There are various ways of doing this. But with the recent update with Gmail, the security has been changed. So we have to go through some more security process before we are able to send a mail with Python. But in this tutorial, I'm going to go through every single thing step by step on what we are going to do. So let's quickly go through the steps in a comment. So this is literally all we need to do, but these are just the most crucial step number one and two. Then once we have the password, we'll be able to come in here and then actually code what we need to send the mail. So let's go over to Chrome and right here, I'm on my account, my Google account. So what you want to do is to come into security and in security. So if I scroll down a little bit, you see two factor authentication. So in this two factor authentication, I already have it on, but what you want to do is to actually click on that. If you have it off, then it's going to take you through some self explanatory process. It's going to ask for a number or something else that you can use to, you know, back up your account. But then once you do all of that, that step is actually done. What you need to do then is to come into this app password. So what you can just do is either go into your URL and type slash app password. Or you can just come here and click it directly. So anyone you want to do is fine. It's going to ask you to log in again. So we're just going to log in back. And now that we log in, as you can see, I already have some password created that I used sometime last year. Now what we want to do is to actually select app. And in this select app, we're not using any of these um, options. What we want to click on is this other. And right here, we can just say Python for Python. And then we're going to generate a code. So it's going to give us a code. And what we want to do is to actually copy all of that code because it's not going to show that code to us again. So we want to copy it, then click on done. So once you have that code copied, as you can see, it said created on this time, but it hasn't said when we last used it because we haven't used that particular password. But once you have that done, that is good. Those two process are already done. The next thing we want to do is to actually go into our file or go into our program and code this. So what we're going to do now is to come back in here. And the first thing we want to do is to import email. So we'll say from email, the message, import email message. So this email is pre-installed with Python. So when you install Python on your computer, this email should be there. So once we have that imported, let me actually go through what we're going to do. So we're going to have a variable that is going to have the email sender. So this is the email that you're sending from, which is the email that we generated a password for. Then you are going to input the password that we generated. Now, this is not your email password. This is the app password that we generated. Then we are going to input the receiver so the person that is receiving this email and once we've done that we are going to specify the subject the body and then we are going to create an instance of this email and actually send the email so next thing we want to do is to just have some variables so we can say email sender and the email sender has to be code with tommy at gmail.com and email password. So for this password, I'm actually not going to show the password I copied just for security reasons. So right here, I have this app to file and I have the password stored in there. So what I'm just going to do is to actually import the password from that app to file. So I'm going to say from app to dot py import password. So I have that, I have a variable in the name password. So that's what it's going to do. So what we need to do is to actually remove this dot py. We just need to say from app two, because it already knows it's a Python file, import password. So now that we have that password, I'm just going to say password. And once we have that done, that is saved there. So the email password is now the password that I created. So for you, just the way we wrote the password here, you just need to write it there. Or for a better security, you can just create an environment variable and store the password there instead. So the next thing we want to do is to specify the email receiver. So the person that is receiving this email. And let's leave that blank for now. We're going to come back to do that. And then let's 
the next thing we want to do is to have the subject so we're going to say subject equals to don't forget to subscribe and we're going to have the body so this is the main body of the email that means this is what the user is going to read so we want to have it like this with three quotes once we have that we're just going to write whatever we want to say you say um when you watch a video please hit subscribe so once we have that the body is set the next thing we want to do is to actually create an instance of this email message library or package that we imported so what we're going to do to create that we can say em equals email message so an instance has been created then we're going to say em from is equals to email sender so this is saying the person we're sending from and then em to is equals to email receiver and then em subject is equals to the subject and then we also need to specify the body but we're going to do that a little bit different so this one is going to use something named set content so we're going to say em dot set content so the content of the email is the body so once we have this done this is what we need the next thing that we want to do is to actually come down here and we're going to create a context but for us to create this context we need to import something named ssl and smtb library so we're going to come up here and then we're going to say import ssl and then we also have to import smtb library so all of this should be pre-installed when you install python so you don't need to run pip install anything they should already be installed but if they are not installed then you can just look up how to install them i'm pretty sure it's very straightforward so what we want to do now is to come here and say context ssl dot create default context so this is what we want to use and then we're going to have with smtp library dot smtp when you say underscore ssl what we're going to use is the gmail smtp so we're going to say smtp dot gmail dot com we're going to say 465 and the context is equals to this context right here that we specified so context equals context so once we have that we're going to say with this as smtp so specifying all of this as smtp then we're going to say smtp.login so we want to log in with the email sender and the email password which we specified already and then we're going to say smtp.sendmail now this is when we're actually sending the mail what this is doing is this is logging in with those you know those this particular credentials that we gave it and then once we have been able to log in we are not going to send email so from email sender this is the person that we're sending from email sender email receiver sending to and then em dot as string so basically it's converting this em which is the instance of this email message that already has all these details now sent to a string so we want to send all of this and this should actually work perfectly but there's one more thing we need to do is to specify the person that is receiving the email so for this let's actually use a temporary email we'll come to google and let's just say temp mail so this temp mail is a site that generates temporary email for us and what we can do is just to copy the temporary email that it generates and then we're going to use this to test and once we use it to test we're going to send the mail to this so if the mail lands in here successfully that means our program works so let's come back in here now and in the email receiver 
I'm going to paste that email in here. We save that. Now everything should be working perfectly. Let's run this and see what happens. So that's going to take a while to run and we don't get any error response. So that means everything should have worked successfully. Let's go back and see if you come here now, you can see that it says from code. We told me at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe. If we open up that particular email and we read the content so you can see don't forget to subscribe when you watch a video please hit subscribe this is exactly what we specified here if we close this down don't forget to subscribe when you watch a video please hit subscribe so as you can see this has worked successfully this is the new way of sending a mail with python because as i said the old way is no more working basically so what we need to do now is to adapt to this new way so i hope you understood everything we did in this video let's quickly go back to you know, talk about what we did first of all you have to go to your account and set up the two-factor authentication and generate the app password then you need to come here import all the necessary stuff the first thing you need to import is this email message so we want to specify the sender the password the receiver and the subject then once we specify all of that we can use that to create an instance of this email message we save that as em then we imported ssl and smtp library then we use that SMTP library to actually log in and send email. So I hope you understood everything we did in this tutorial.